We're entering Ponferrada. This is the last major city on the French route of the Camino. The horses get the green light, pedestrians get the green light next. Yeah. In Ponferrada, we spent time seeing the remains of the Templar Castle. More than 700 years ago, it was used to protect pilgrims walking the Camino. Pilgrims walking the same path that we're taking today. All right, we are leaving Ponferrada, which might mean Iron Bridge. And we're going under a giant iron bridge on our way out, not the original iron bridge. But we were so tired from yesterday. I think we were sleeping as we walked, half awake. So we stopped and had two cafe con leche grandes. Each. And now... Feeling good. We are ready. <laughs> To go so fast. To go so fast. This river is nice. I think if, if we had a hammock earlier, that would have been it for the day. We would have never left. So, let's see this. Check this river footage. River footage. Peter's caffeine intake helped him march us out of town like an enthusiastic drum major then celebrate the victory of finally getting out of Ponferrada. In the last 24 hours, I had been asked the same question three times. Are you journaling? I took that as a whisper from God, so I started to write. We're sitting outside a church, above the door. It says, El Maestro está aquí, y te llama. The teacher is here, and he calls you. When I feel that God is telling me to do something, I act on his nudge, then I look around for signs of reinforcement. We got one. All right, Peter, how is it? It's delicious. Super messy. <laughs> I feel like I have something in my mustache. <laughs> we found the tastiest bakery on the entire Camino, in my opinion. The owner let us inside just minutes before closing for the afternoon. I'm gonna bathe in that fountain right there when we're all done. All right, Kristen, let me get that camera and you take a bite of that. I don't really know how to eat it. No one does. Wow. What a gift. And right after, I moved forward on journaling. Oh, yeah. Slow motion. Wow. Mm. I, think I, I think I cut your head out of the shot. You want to do that again? Tastes as good as it looks. That night, I wrote, Our Camino is now 75% complete. We have 118 miles left. As soon as I learned we had 130-ish miles left to walk, my perspective completely changed. The end was coming. All of a sudden, the Camino was not this never-ending repetitive walk. It was something to be cherished because it was almost over. I need to do that with life. Live life like it's almost over, not that it's never ending. Almost into Galicia. Got through some cities and got back into like vineyards and this beautiful tree cover. And just missed the storms again. And it's, it's really pretty. Mm. Sound of running waters behind us. And we got about two miles left. One hour. Maybe the longest day and the slowest day, but so far my most enjoyable day, I think. Mm. Yeah. Leisurely pace. Today was the best day yet. We went the farthest, walked the slowest, possibly laughed the most, and really took in the environments around us. It was a perfect 28th day.